The 10 Steps to Cybersecurity Guidance was originally written in 2012 by CESG, the NCSC's predecessor. Quite a lot has changed since then, especially how we're using technology and the new risks we now face online. But it's not just changes in the external environment, such as the huge growth in our use of cloud services, and more recently, the shift to home and mobile working. It's also changes in the nature of the threats that organizations face. Threats such as ransomware, which affects all sectors and organizations, regardless of their type or size. Our understanding of changes to both technology and people has continued to evolve over the last nine years, so we felt it was a good time to refresh our 10 steps to cybersecurity guidance to ensure it remains relevant ahead of its 10th anniversary. Not everything has changed. There are still 10 steps, and we still cover familiar topics such as incident management and secure configuration. But we have updated these in line with changes to more recent guidance, including the cloud security principles and guidance on mitigating malware and ransomware attacks. We've restructured the steps to cover certain topics that customers ask for more details about, such as data protection. And there's a new section on supply chain security in light of the types of cyber incident we are now increasingly seeing. It's also worth clarifying the audience for this revised version of 10 Steps to Cybersecurity. 10 Steps is now squarely aimed at security professionals and technical staff who are working for or supporting medium to large organizations. By working through the sections, technical staff can follow the links into more detailed NCSC guidance if needed. 10 steps can also be used alongside the NCSC's Cyber Security Toolkit for boards, which we published in 2019, specifically for board members who may not be cyber experts. The board toolkit helps frame discussions between the board and technical experts and replaces the executive summary section of the original 10 steps. Putting this all together then, 10 steps now look like this. Risk management. Take a risk-based approach to securing your data and systems. Engagement and training. Collaboratively build security that works for people in your organization. Asset management. Know what data and systems you have and what business need they support. Architecture and configuration. Design, build, maintain and manage systems securely. Equally, organizations should understand vulnerability management. Keep your systems protected throughout their life cycle. Identity and access management. Control who and what can access your systems and data. Data security. Protect data where it is vulnerable. Logging and monitoring. Design your systems to be able to detect and investigate incidents. Rounding off the updated steps. Incident management. Plan your response to cyber incidents in advance. Supply chain security. Collaborate with your suppliers and partners. As ever, we welcome your feedback to ensure our advice remains relevant and useful. So please get in touch using the NCSC's Contact Us page. Here's to another 10 years.